are from uh, San Diego Picker? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your channel. Oh, have you seen it? Yeah, yes. Oh, that's awesome. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. It's really early in the morning, so I have to whisper everybody's still asleep. I don't know if you can see, but it's still pretty much dark outside. We're gonna get a really early jump on the swap meet today down at Kobe's. So I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and then we're gonna go see what we can find. What's going on guys? So today is going to be a different style of video. I thought it would be good to do kind of a day in the life style video of me walking around the swap meet. So I'm pretty much just going to narrate what's happening as it's happening. So as you can see, I'm just walking into the swap meet. I kind of have a general idea of what area I go to First, I was walking by and I saw this guy currently unloading stuff. What I like to do in a situation like that is when they're still unloading stuff, go over and look and see what I can find. Um, sometimes when they're just pulling stuff out, they're more willing to get rid of it quicker. Um, I found this Pokemon backpack. As you know, that's my current obsession. So I wanted to take a look at that. It looked like it was a little used and not in the best um, condition. So, how much you asked him for your backpack? The blue one. This one. Yeah, this blue one right here. Oh, this one. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Then after I asked how much he wanted for it, I wasn't really trying to A, spend that much money and B, carry it around the swap meet the rest of the day. So as I kept going on, I found these vendors. What's really good about these vendors is that you kind of have to like dig through stuff. So sometimes there's some hidden gems underneath everything located in all of these boxes. Um, I was just kind of browsing the tops of them and I could tell it was more household items, not really anything that I personally would be interested in. So I decided to keep moving on. When it's early in the morning, you really have to kind of pick and choose where you go and be quick because there's a lot of people down there looking for deals and things get picked up really quick. Uh, these vendors I've gone to a ton of times. I've bought hats from them almost every single week. I've talked to them before and they get hats from um, the Salvation Army and Goodwill and things like that. So they get them for pretty cheap and then they sell them for pretty cheap. I've been looking for a Bass Pro Shops hat for a long time. I actually wanted to keep that myself, but I didn't really want a NASCAR brand Bass Pro Shops hat, but it still had all the tags and everything on it. So I decided to buy it anyway. I think it was only $3. You guys have change? Uh, it's his. Oh. I'm just gonna take the one. Yeah. Well, man, thank you. Next, I decided to check up on one of the regular vendors that I buy from. This guy always has really awesome beer tap handles, as you've seen in previous videos. Um, those go for a pretty penny he unfortunately didn't have any today when i walked up this guy was giving him some insider information as to how much he should sell that table for that's what's really cool down there is that you get a lot of info from people that kind of i wouldn't say specialize but know about different uh things that are located down there so yeah this guy was talking about this table getting the insider info huh <laughs> Any beer taps today? No. no. 
Next, this is a vendor that I always check out too when things are kind of stacked on top of each other like that. Like I mentioned previously with the boxes, uh, you can kind of dig around and potentially find some hidden gems that people have kind of looked over. I found this Pokemon tin that I thought maybe would have cards in it, but it was filled with marbles. The tin itself was still pretty cool. Uh, what I decided to do instead of offering that guy um, what I thought was good for it because sometimes they can you know give you a price that you're not really willing to pay that you might think is too high or low I decided to look it up on eBay see what it was going for on there um, it wasn't really going for a whole lot I think it was 12 or 15 dollars so I decided to move on i'm glad i did because i came across all of these golf clubs i always stop no matter what vendor has them no matter what condition they're in what brand because you never really know there's a market for everyone out there for all different kinds of clubs unfortunately there wasn't any good ones that i was willing to even take a gamble on so i had to leave those so i then went to this place this place is massive they have like eight or nine uh, individual spots of their own. I came across this light that was kind of cool. I think that this was actually used for underwater uh, exploring or fishing. This was also a super cool um, picture frame. It was in the shape of a golf ball. So of course I went right for it, but those were only going for, I think $9, which is probably what they were asking for, maybe even five, but for $4 that just wasn't enough of a return for for me to be interested in so i just looked around at a couple things after i looked it up here on ebay and i decided to move on i then came across this bucket of cards i don't really know a whole lot about baseball football or hockey cards but it's always good to look sometimes when i'm looking through them they have psa graded ones if someone has taken the time to get their card graded then that means that they clearly think that it's worth something uh in that basket however there wasn't any graded one so i just decided to move on again i was glad i what i did because i came across a whole thing of Pokemon cards. This lady had a huge selection in this tin. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything worth looking at. What do you have on all the cards? Hmm? 20 bucks. Do you have any other ones or is this it? There's, uh, there's more over here. Okay. But I'm looking for more similar, like the box. Oh, okay. And in the binders. Oh, nice. You have a whole bunch. So like I said, after looking at that, that tin, uh, I didn't find any ones that I was interested in, but she did have these individual packs that were wrapped uh, with an assortment of cards. I didn't really want to take a gamble on that, but she had these two binders. The one I'm currently looking through was okay. the newer style Pokemon cards, but she had a binder full of older holographic ones, and those are what I was interested in. Can I move this over here so it's a little easier to look at them? Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. Oh. So I'm a little bit knowledgeable about these right now, so I kind of knew what I was looking for, but she knew what she had. And as you'll see later on too, she's actually seen my vlog. So I ended up just having a really good conversation with her. Didn't buy anything. You are from uh, San Diego Picker? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your channel. Oh, have you seen it? Yeah, yesterday. Oh, that's awesome. I was looking on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How cool, that's awesome. Yeah, some of these are cool. So how much are, are these different ones? Because uh, I know some of them are, are priced. I don't see prices on the other ones, oh, though. Which ones, like, um, which ones are you taking? Because this one has prices. Mm -hmm. But um, which ones are do you like? I mean... Um, I like these two. Okay. Can do oh they oh they have yeah. the price i yeah. see this i see one i can do 25 on that one okay and this one i can do 18. 18 gotcha i see i, th I didn't know if the prices were on the front or yeah, the back yeah no, they were on the back some some doesn't have a price mm -hmm. because some are cheaper got it 
I see, okay. I see how it's done now. Gotcha. Awesome, well I'm gonna keep walking around then I'll hit you on the way out. Appreciate it, thank you very much. I forgot I carry a couple of these around with me too, so there you are. I appreciate you watching, thank you very much. So I hope that that gave you a little bit of an idea of what's going through my head as I'm walking around these swap meets and flea markets, why I kind of pick up the stuff that I do, why I stop and look at the stuff that I do. So yeah, that's just a little bit of what I'm thinking about as I'm walking around. I hope you enjoyed this new style of video. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, drop a comment below and turn on your notifications so you know when I post my next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.